Okay, y'all, here we have it. Um, This is the bait that I'm using, shad right here. Of course, it's ripened right now, and that's the way I like to use it. Fresh and sometimes ripened. But I'm going to show you exactly how I cut. Most cases, I literally may cut it into a slant, or I may cut it straight down. But I prefer to always cut it into, like, a slanted position. That's how I like to cut it right there. So what I would do is just use the heads, and I use the back end. And I like to cut it in that position because it kind of gives me a nice plentiful bait for both halves of this shad. So that's the way I like to cut it. I'm going to show you exactly how I like to hook. Okay, here you have a 5 eye gamagatsu hook, circle hook. Now, if I'm hooking the head, I, I, I don't go through the eyes like I had used. Usually when you swing it sometimes through the eyes, it, it, it has a potential to slide off. So what I end up doing is I take it right there by the side of the eyes. We're going to come up close to that. I take it right there near the bone and all of that and I go through and I pierce it all the way through the other side and and, and that's the hard more more sturdy area of the fish and it'll stay on you could be able to sling that sucker as far as you want to and when I hook the back end I pretty much do the same but I make sure I go up under up under the spine I take it through there and then there you have it Literally, it stays on, good bait, good hook set, all of that. So that's how I like to uh, hook shad. Right, we have a fish on, here we go, that line go. I give it I give it some go. Once I feel the pull, then I pull. There you go, that's how you do it. Don't wanna wait too long for that hook set. You really don't. When, you, when, you, when your line is slack, you just pick your, pick your rod up. The thing is with fish, um, sometimes they put that in their mouth, but what you need for them to do it's turn. When you see the rod tip moving, doesn't necessarily mean that they have the hook set. It can mean that they're just nibbling on that bait until they make that turn to grab it and go, grab it and go, grab it and go. And obviously that's what's going on right here because with that turn, like I said, that's how the circle hook always grabs them at the corner of the mouth, corner of the mouth. The, the turn, that hook catches the corner or it may get the bottom of their mouth. Like usually when I fish with channel cats, I'm pretty much hooking them at the bottom of the mouth. And we're going to look at it and see where this hook set is in just a moment. Nice little hungry channel cat. Look at him. He was, yep, look at him. He was destined for it. Let's go. About two pounds. Hefty. Most definitely good eating right there. Get him on that skillet. Like I said, look at that. Right at the bottom, bottom of the mouth. If you can see that. See that? You can never go wrong. That's exactly what I'm saying. Almost all the time I'm hooking them at the bottom of their mouth. And that's a good clean hook set fish is fresh clean he's not harmed most definitely a different fish as you can see there you have it stay tuned